Hi, my name is Amy Whitmore. My D number is 411-05325. I am at Chamberlain University, uh, New Orleans campus. This is NR224 um, Foley Catheter. Okay. Good morning, Ms. Quinzel. How are you today? My name is Amy. I'm going to be your nurse. Um, Dr. Isley has ordered a um, to have a Foley catheter inserted into your bladder. And this procedure is going to take about 20 minutes or so, and hopefully this is going to help with the um, bladder distension that you have right now. So before we get started, let me verify who you are. So let me check your armband. Can you please state your full name? All right, Harleen Quinzel, and your date of birth, please. 122692, thank you. Are you allergic to any medicines specifically? Um, or are you allergic to anything that you know of? Okay, um, are you allergic to, uh, let me just double check, are you allergic to latex, shellfish, chlorhexidine, or iodine? Okay, no. And are you in any pain right now? On a scale of uh, uh, zero to 10, 10 being the worst. About a four, okay, that's understandable. Um, in your bladder, okay, I understand that. Hopefully um, this procedure will help you uh, get some relief, okay? So again, like I said, it's gonna take about 20 minutes. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna leave the catheter in until Dr. Isley think, feels that everything is um, okay, and then I'll come back later and remove the Foley from you, and you'll be hopefully uh, good to go after that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut the curtain for privacy, and perform a little bit of hand hygiene. I am going to raise your bed up a bit to um, hip level for me, and I am gonna put on some gloves. Oh, I'm ready for that. All right, we got the gloves. So other than your bladder distension, how are you doing today? That's awesome, thank you. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't want to be here either. But that's okay. We're going to take good care of you. All right. So now that I have my gloves on, we are going to uh, gently, what we're going to do is we're going to lift up all of your um, patient, all of your uh, sheets here. We're going to stick them up over your abdomen. I'm going to place a bath blanket over you and I'm trying to expose you as little as possible. I am going to put a waterproof pad under your bottom here. And um, that way we can keep everything sterile and we don't mess up your, um, well not sterile, but uh, keep everything clean and not mess up your, uh, your bed here. Now, while I've got you exposed, before I get started, I'm gonna gently look at your abdomen first. I'm checking to see if there are any lesions, masses, um, wounds, anything like that. I do not see them directly on your abdomen. I'm gonna gently palpate. And I do notice that there is a little distension here in your bladder area, so I'm gonna be um, conscious of that. I don't wanna hurt you any more than necessary. All right, so if you let me look, I'm gonna look at your uh, perineal area. I'm gonna have a quick look here, making sure I don't see any, um, any wounds, lesions, rashes, uh, skin breakdown, anything of that sort. Everything looks, um, I don't see any of that, so what we're going to do now is I am going to um, remove my gloves. We're going to lower your head, your um, the head of your bed down to where you would tolerate it. I'm going to discard my gloves in the appropriate receptacle. Um, what we're going to do, we're gonna, let's lower your head down as far as uh, you can tolerate it. Now, what I want you to do is pick your ankles up. And I want you to relax enough to the side um, facing each other and then let your knees just fall to the side, okay? Now I'm gonna get you to stay in that position during this entire procedure. I'll help you as much as I can. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna perform hand hygiene one more time. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up my kit. I'm gonna open it from side to side first away from me and then towards me. So. I'm gonna take this sterile drape here and we're gonna put it in between your legs, just like that. Now I'm going to take my gloves All right, 
So during this procedure, my dominant hand is going to remain sterile. My non-dominant hand is going to be doing a little bit of non-sterile work. So we're going to discard that in the appropriate receptacle. Now, I am going to open my kit. Here. I'm going to open up the iodine, pour on to the cotton balls. I'm going to open up the lube. I'm going to pour it into the bin here, discard, and then I'm going to Take my saline and lock it into the green. Okay, just checking to see that the balloon inflates and deflates. Excellent, so we will leave it there. We're going to take off. Catheter, dispose of that appropriately, and we're going to put this into the loop. Now, what I'm going to do is with my non dominant hand, I'm going to expose the labia. I'm going to take a cotton ball that is in the iodine, and I'm going to go from the clitoris to the anus and wipe down one time and discard. Make sure I've got iodine, wipe down from the clitoris to the anus and discard. I will do that until it's clean. I'm going to continue to hold everything open. This will not close um, until I am done exposing the urinary meatus. Now I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of lube on my catheter. All right, Ms. Quinzel, what I need you to do is bear down for me. This may, uh, you may feel a little bit of pressure. So I'm gonna hold it a little bit apart. We're gonna gently insert the catheter into the urethra until I see a flash of urine. So I notice that I'm going to insert about two to three inches more I'm going to release the labia and pinch the catheter. While I have the catheter pinched, I'm going to inflate the balloon with my 10 cc's of saline. And release the syringe from the port. I'm going to gently tug on the catheter to make sure it is secure. We're going to remove our gloves at this point. We no longer have to be sterile. We're going to put the bag. Now, first off, we're going to um, we're going to raise the side rails back up. Let me do a little hand hygiene because I got a few more things to do. I need to tape the catheter to the patient's thigh. I am almost done this with cleanse out there with me just a little bit longer. So I'm going to tape it to her side. To her thigh, we're going to attach the drainage system. It needs to be below the patient's bladder. So we're going to attach it over to a stationary part of the bed. And I'm going to make sure that I clean and dry the perineal area if um, to make sure it's um, get the iodine off and everything. Let's go ahead and um, make her modest again. Let's discard the drape and the um, Oh, I can't. That's her thigh now. Um, <laughs> let's let's uh, get rid of all of our stuff that we don't need. We'll get rid of our kit. We are disposing of everything in the proper receptacle, of course. And we're going to um, 
put everything back down. Let's get her, let's put her bed back down where it needs to go, raise the handrails. We're going to um, give her her call light. Miss Quinzel, I'll see you in just a little bit. Let's make sure you're comfortable right here. Is there anything that I can do for you at this time? All right, excellent. I shall be back in a, whenever uh, Dr. Isley says that everything is okay and I can remove it. Hi, Ms. Quinzel. I'm back. I get to uh, remove your catheter now. Dr. Isley says everything is okay. Let's verify your name and date of birth one more time for me. Okay, Harleen Quinzel, thank you. And your birthday? 12-26-92. Excellent. Are you in any pain at this time? No? Great. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise your bed back up to uh, my hip level. I'm going to lower your side rails. Let's move all your linens down to the end of the bed. Let's get you to get back in the position that I had you originally. So what we're going to do, remember, we're going to get your feet up and have uh, your feet facing each other. Let them all just relax. Let your knees hang down. All right. Now, let's see. I need a glove up here hide my gloves otherwise they turn into balloons all right so let us lift your gown we're gonna check your perineum let's make sure you don't see any rashes redness I don't see any skin breakdown that's all excellent so now we're going to attach my 10 cc syringe to my port. I'm going to slowly deflate. You may feel a little sensation here. Take the tape off of your thigh. Expose that. Now, what I want you to do is take a deep breath, and as you exhale, I am going to gently remove the catheter. Ready? Exhale. You're doing great. Excellent. So now, let me have a quick look at the catheter. I'm making sure that I don't see any blood, mucus, or any other signs of infection. Everything looks great. So now we're going to take our entire bag. We're going to dispose of it in the proper biohazardous receptacle. Let's get rid of any of our other supplies here. We don't need any of this anymore. All right, let's get rid of our gloves. All this goes in the proper receptacle. Let's do some hand hygiene. All right, now I'm gonna put on some clean gloves. Again, because I should not have, I, I shouldn't have gotten rid of my bag yet. So it has not been sent to the appropriate receptacle yet. So, because what I'm gonna do now is actually drain and measure the bag into a graduated cylinder. Um, using this port right here, I would um, drain and check it out. I would uh, drain the urine into a graduated cylinder, making sure that you know I have a good measurement. I'm gonna document that measurement of the output. I am then going to discard my catheter and my bag. We're going to perform hand hygiene one more time. Let's put your bed back down, pull your side rails back up, give you your call light again. All right, Miss Quinzella, is there anything else that I can do for you today? Excellent. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you need anything, please let me know. Let me just ask you one more time. Are you in any pain at the moment? On a scale of 1 to 10. 
a zero. I am glad you were feeling so much better. I'm glad that the catheter was helpful. Okay, thank you, Ms. Quinzel. I appreciate it.